Morning, Sam. Morning, Trent. How are you? I'm good, mate. I'm good. But I need you to answer something for me. Where are we? And why do we have an unregistered 70 Series Land Cruiser behind us? I, uh, this is our new 70 Series, ah, four right, car advice, okay. mate. I actually drove it down today yes. unregistered. No tray on the back as well. We've come to Norweld. And before we register this car, we're actually going to be doing a bit of work to it. A new tray, yep. new canopy, yep. some suspension that includes a GVM upgrade yep. and, some, and some bar work as well. So, so all important stuff. It is, it yeah. is. And it's actually a lot easier to do it pre-registration rather than afterwards. So it's a pretty smart call Makes if you're going to do it. Well, we've chosen Norwell for a specific reason. And in the next episode of this series, we'll show you exactly why we chose the Norwell canopy. But come and take a look now while we fit the tray, which is the first part of the modification process. So I mentioned unregistered vehicle before. I'm not actually breaking any laws because for $28 and a little bit of time at the RMS in New South Wales, I've got an unregistered vehicle permit. So pretty good price, I reckon, and that includes insurance. And if a police officer pulls you over, which didn't happen today, but you've got the paperwork to show that you won't get in trouble. The latest addition to the Car Advice fleet is a Toyota Land Cruiser 79 series. We've gone for the double cab model in a fetching graphite color. We chose the GXL specification mainly because of the factory locking diffs, and we optioned up to the heritage style grille. Why a Land Cruiser you ask? Well, we've already got a couple of dual cabs on the fleet and we've always loved the Land Cruiser for its diesel V8, tough driveline and a virtually endless list of options for modification. If you want to build something to take on all conditions right around Australia, then it's pretty hard to go past a Land Cruiser. One thing that caught my eye as being pretty cool was this table. Uh, pretty simple design, but watch this. In it goes. Look at that. Strong enough to stand on, they reckon. That's perfect for camping or making a cup of tea on the side of the road or something. Handy little sidestep. Look at that. Easy as. Rather than getting a factory tray fitted up at the dealership, we've gone to the more complicated route of sourcing a high quality aftermarket tray. Norweld is a well-renowned Australian company that builds some exquisite stuff up in cans. They're made from high quality aluminium and include stacks of additional storage. Aluminium is lighter than steel and it doesn't have any rust issues. Our tray has a 43 litre water tank built in and along with a big storage drawer and under tray toolboxes, it's perfect for going on the road with. Spare wheels mount up very smartly onto the headboard with a threaded rod and bracket, but perhaps the best thing about this tray is how well it combines with a slide on canopy. Norweld make these canopies as well and sell it all as a complete package. Stay tuned because we'll be fitting up this next. 